Hey everyone, my name is Deborah and I am here to give you my episode 3 review of You Who Came From The Stars or My Love From Another Star, whatever you know it as, okay? It's known as different things to different people. Alright, first of all, we started off where we stopped off last week with Min Jun demanding to know who Sun Yi was and Sun Yi telling him, oh dude, well duh, it's me, well, who else do you expect it to be? And then next we go back into the past, into the Joseon dynasty and we see how um, we see the aftermath of Yi Hua being kidnapped and she went home with Min Jun telling him that she believes that her mother-in-law will take care of him well if she states that he is her lifesaver so they should go home together to which he agrees and then they go home that's to her mother-in-law's house and when she gets there she finds out that her mother-in-law knows she's not dead but she's trying to say that she's dead just so she can get this um what's it called this in exchange for this honorary status th that should be given to her and she also sent someone to go look for her in case she's awake and make sure that she's dead just because they want her to be remembered as a vicious woman even though it's so obvious that she's not dead and then next we see um she was shocked about that like how can you betray someone like that it was it was the most shocking thing because i didn't expect it and i am sure you all didn't expect it either and then next we see her crying she goes she finds out that they even dug a grave for her like people what the heck but yeah apparently they even dug a grave for her and she was crying and then she decided all right i'll go to my parents home and so min jun decided that he was gonna come with her and then we come back to the past and in oh no the, we come back to the present and in the present he's with lawyer jang and he was telling lawyer jang about the shoe and the whole situation and he felt it just didn't make sense to min june and lawyer jang was saying how will you find like maybe she's a doppelganger and how do you find up being a doppelganger ridiculous because he felt being a doppelganger was ridiculous and he's like how can you find it ridiculous when aliens exist and i just had to laugh out loud that part was quite hilarious like seriously dude but i also love the whole double ganger thing because it brought a whole reference to like vampire diaries and i think the um, writer just put that into for fun because she's someone that likes playing with other dramas and series and adding it to her own thing so that was really interesting to see all here and then next we move from that to Sami and son yi and they were together in the dressing room and this two girls came to meet Sun Yi and they were telling Sun Yi about how they love her etc etc and they just completely ignored Sami and all these things I think is what's building up to what might possibly be Sami suddenly turning bad and so um the girls when Sami left um Sun Yi did something that I was so proud of her for she like held the two girls and she told them never to try acting that way towards Semi that don't they have respect couldn't they see that Semi was there how dare they act that way towards her friend etc etc to the two Hubei actresses the girls that came by and that was the, just the cutest thing ever I felt so much respect and love for her I was so proud of her because then you could see that she actually does care for her friends but yes she has an ego but she still has underneath all that this love and sincerity yeah, caring for her friends so we move from that to um, the son of um S snc group that's the guy that asked her to marry him who is also Sami's love slash Sami's boyfriend and so they were telling him his bosses they were telling him his name is hui kyung that he needs to remove the picture of Songi from his page like his um background on his computer and he kept stating how dude it's my girlfriend and that was so hilarious because that's what every k-drama or k-pop fan addict does like i believe leave me was my husband leave me home and my husband but yeah so that's that was just hilarious and obviously no one believed him because they think that he's this popa that's just walking in the office and so he was told to change it to the background of his family and he went and changed it to his family and he's so innocently cute and hilarious because he changed it to his family not realizing that it was exposing the secret that he's actually the son of the owner of the company and so when he changed it they saw it and they were all so scared 
scared of him and so they decided to like um what's it called act nice to him and get off work on time and tell him that he could go home and he thought that they were being sincere not realizing that they figured out who he really was and that was just hilarious though next we see um a person one of the directors that works in the company came to meet his elder brother jay kyung and he was telling him how he felt they need to investigate the death of the guy that jay kyung killed even though they don't know that jay kyung killed him and that they need to reinvestigate it because there's something fishy so he doesn't come back on the company and so jay kyung asked him how his health was and he said yeah he still takes his insulin pills and i'm like oh my goodness you shouldn't have said that now he's gonna want to kill you and so yeah he told him that and jay kyung obviously being the person he is um went that night and changed the insulin pills insulin needles with something else and i'm just like oh my goodness we all know it's jay kyung and he's gonna kill him but yeah next we see um sungi having a real stomach issue on her, her appendix area and so when she was having the whole issue she called her manager to help but he couldn't help out and while she was in so much pain min Jun was listening because he has good ears like i said before and he was listening and he knew she was in pain so he kind of used Tao to come out of his house and lie that he was going to the hospital so he could help her out and i'm like He's finally helping people. He's finally getting involved. That was just the cutest thing ever. And so he took her to the clinic. And when he took her there, she he was just like being a total doctor, telling them what's wrong with her, etc, etc. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I am so sure you were a doctor in your past life, etc, etc. And so, yeah, she begged him to stay. And that was just the cutest thing ever. And so he decided to stay with her. And when he stayed with her after the whole operation, they told her that she needs to walk so she can release some gas and she's like no i've never done that before i ain't gonna release no gas and i'm like dude seriously you're not a human being if you've never released gas your being a star does not mean you don't release gas but that was pretty hilarious though and so minjun just ignored her and he took her around and she finally released gas and that was just the most hilarious thing ever i'm like I told you you were gonna release gas and that was just funny though so yeah we then go back to the past where um Yihua, that Sungi's doppelganger, finally confesses that she loves Min Jun, but then she lies and covers it up and says, no, she doesn't love him, and that it's just the first no, that on the first no day, you can lie about anything and, like, say anything, and the lie will be forgiven, etc, etc. Anyways, we come back to the hospital, and Sungi was with uh, Min Jun, and Min Jun tried minjun and her were at the window and he was remembering the past and what happened with the whole snow thing and yihua and suddenly she starts talking about pork and soju and cow stomach and etc and just this horrendous things and he's like oh my goodness you just ruined my memory my beautiful memory of yihua what's wrong with you but he didn't say that but y'all get me and then next we see he was trying to get her to not go on a ship or wear certain shoes on a ship not go near any ship because he remember he saw this vision of her getting killed or dying by jumping into the water or being thrown into the water something though on a ship and so he lied to her that he was reading the newspaper and he saw her future that this was what was gonna happen to her and she said no she doesn't believe in such things and etc she doesn't read her stars and then we go back to the past and in the past we see um Sungi in school with Sami right from high school and he comes to brag about how it's his dad and it's of him she's a star and she says no dude it's because i mean your parents cf that i am a star and i'm like you go girl that was so awesome though but that was hilarious and then we come back to the future and in the future he, he comes to the hospital to see her and see me is there and they didn't want to let him get into the clinic but then because Sammy was there he finally got in and Minjun also kind of stopped him from getting in but with Sammy's help he got into the clinic and when he got into the clinic he met her he met um what's her name Songi and they talked etc etc and then next we see Minjun and the lawyer and they were 
Minjun's beeper like beeped and he was wondering like the lawyer was wondering dude who did you give your beeper to i know i'm the only one in this world that that has your number but it was pretty hilarious still that he has a beeper in this generation etc etc and so Minjun goes to um the man who has store that is owned by Sungi's friend to collect some books for her and the books are all like adult only type of mangas and it was just hilarious and he came back to the hospital and he's like dude how can you be reading such things though you shouldn't be reading such things and it was just hilarious dude their conversation and next we see her mom and her brother come and her brother came before the mom because the mom was totally being a total I don't even know what to call her but outside with the reporters and so the brother came in and he saw her and he's like oh your life good and then he walked away and she called him back and they had this argument in that she wanted to give him money and he said no dude i'm working for my money your money is what caused the problem in our family and i kind of felt bad for them because you could see that they sincerely do love each other but because of the mom and all these money issues that's going on with the mom going crazy over money there's so much problem in their family they're not together with their dad that they love so much and so the parents have this um, the children have this kind of bad strange relationship and so next we see he left the hospital and his mom came by with the reporters fake crying for her daughter and it was just horrible and so he told her to leave and Minjun saw what was going on and he understood what was going on so he left and when he left he saw her dad and he knew it was her dad because of how the dad reacted when the little brother was leaving and the dad came but he couldn't come in to see his child and that was just the saddest thing ever that was one of my least favorite scenes i'm like go in and see her but yeah he left and when he left they came to pick up sangi the next day and apparently sangi's shoe was missing and she was wondering like dude i thought minjun was a good guy i didn't know he's a thief that steals people's shoes and the female's shoe for that matter and so she called him up and told him to give her her shoes and he said it's not with him but next what do we see it's actually in his room in his cupboard and so next we see Yura with Jake Young, right? Yeah, Jake Young. And apparently they were dating. Woohoo! Shocking! But yeah, she was with him and she was threatening him to marry her. If not, this patch will find out about them or he should break up with her because she knows a lot of his secrets. And I'm like, girl, you just don't want to go there. You you shouldn't have gone there. That that's just totally wrong. Because right now he's gonna kill you. <laughs> okay. And then next we see um Sungi was preparing for the wedding, and the wedding was was gonna be on top of a cruise oh my goodness and this wedding is for another um what's it called another what they call them actress and so she met yura and yura was telling her how she shouldn't be in the same salon with her because they were at the same salon again and apparently maybe that's a salon that celebrities use a lot and so she told yura how she got the play or the drama or the movie that yura wanted so badly and yura was mad and yura was like i'm gonna kill you i'm gonna kill you i want to kill you etc etc <laughs> that was just hilarious but then next we see she called um sungi called minjun and i was so happy she called him and told him how she was going on the plane and and she got another shoe but it's not her size etc etc and she's so disappointed in him and i'm like thank god she told him that she was going on that ship and next uh oh she you was where oh she got that shoe again she didn't tell him she was going on the ship but when he got the call he got the message and he listened to it he suddenly saw this like advertisement of the wedding and he found out that she was gonna go to the wedding and then we're left with the question is he gonna go save her or is he not gonna go save her so yeah this week had some pretty good pretty interesting moments like i said i loved how um semi um what's her name um, um, um Sungi stood up for semi that was pretty good that was pretty nice i loved her for that i loved um, how he also helped Sungi in his own little way going to the hospital etc etc and yeah this week was totally nice I liked this episode 3 but what did you think about it tell me what you thought about it in the comments down below don't forget to give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe for me to y'all